have been experiencing unexplained foot or ankle pain. The culprit may very well be neuropathy. Hi, I'm Darina Chiferova, I do our podiatry associates. Today, one of our pediatric surgeons, Dr. Amin Lakani, is here to talk about neuropathy and what are the treatment options are available to you. Dr. Lakani, what exactly is neuropathy? Hi, Daria. So neuropathy is basically this condition in which your, your nerves stop uh, firing or they fire abnormally. It's going to lead to a lot of symptoms, um, including burning, tingling, uh, numbness, uh, loss of vibration or position sense. It can also lead to some electric-like sensations in your feet. How fast do symptoms develop? It's commonly seen that patients develop symptoms very gradually, but it, it can also be seen as a sudden onset. How many types of neuropathy exist? There are mainly two types of neuropathy. The first one is peripheral neuropathy, and the other one is radiculopathy. Peripheral neuropathy mainly just affects uh, your arms or your limbs and uh, your feet. Radiculopathy can affect your entire body because it stems right from your spinal cord. So what causes neuropathy? Neuropathy can be caused by various different reasons. Diabetic neuropathy is one of the most common ones we see in our practice. Other causes of neuropathy include trauma, nerve compression, HIV or AIDS, cancer, um, sciatica, restless, restless leg syndrome, um, and also certain medications. How do you diagnose neuropathy? A uh, thorough evaluation in the office is uh, usually adequate for um, a diagnosis, but in some instances we need an MRI, blood test, urine test, uh, neurography, nerve conduction testing, um, electromyography, and also um, a biopsy of a specific nerve may be needed to uh, confirm diagnosis. Dr. Lakani, what kind of treatments are available to your patients? So in diabetic patients who start to develop neuropathic-like symptoms, it is extremely important for them to have a very tight glycemic control. In other patients who are non-diabetic or maybe having this uh, these symptoms because of other reasons, I may recommend uh, oral or topical medications, uh, diet modifications, uh, certain dietary supplements like alpha lipoic acid, also proper shoe gear to make sure that uh, they don't develop complications that lead to injuries and wounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we we'll, um, try to use certain physical therapy modalities including iontophoresis and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. What kind of medications are available? So there are two main types of uh, medications, oral and topical. Looking at oral medications, uh, some of the common ones that we use are gabapentin, Lyrica, and other uh, supplemental type of medications like uh, alpha lipoic acid. Looking at the topical medications, we usually try to use a compounding type of uh, medications in which we can combine various different types of medications and structure it to your clinical picture. Um, prescription strength medications as well, um, certain ones like Metnex, which can also help uh, re regenerate the nerves that have been damaged over the years. You mentioned the shoe gear. Uh, could you please tell us more about this? So in addition to supportive shoes, custom orthotics are also very beneficial. We can definitely help patients uh, make custom uh, orthotics here in the office uh, by using a uh, weight-bearing scanner. These can also be very beneficial in preventing any kind of injuries or uh, complications that may be secondary to the neuropathy. Dr. Lakani, what is the most important thing to remember? Be very careful of how high your blood sugar numbers are going. It's very important to keep things under check and prevent the neuropathy from even beginning. But if it has begun, you need to be very careful of making sure that your glycemic numbers are not going out, out of bounds. Thank you, Dr. Lakani, for helping us understand neuropathy. If anything we have talked about rings a bell, we urge you to contact us today. You'll get relief, and in this case, no pain will be your gain.